Hello, my name is Robert Jacobberger. I'm currently a postdoc at Northwestern University, but I conducted the work in this talk in Mike Arnold's group at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Today, I'm going to present a new fundamental mechanism we recently discovered for directing the self-assembly of block polymers for high-resolution nanofabrication. In this process, which we call boundary-directed epitaxy, one-dimensional boundaries that separate regions on a surface with different composition modulate the orientation of block polymer lamellae from horizontal to vertical. The boundaries also direct the vertical lamellae into ordered, technologically useful nanoscale patterns with feature size that is beyond the resolution of conventional lithographic techniques. Block polymers that self-assemble on surfaces into lamellae can enable nanofabrication at sub-10 nanometer dimensions. The lamellae are most useful when their domains are oriented perpendicular to the substrate, have long-range lateral order, and are precisely positioned. Historically, there have been two methods to direct lamellae into organized useful patterns. Graphoepitaxy, which uses topographic features such as trenches to direct assembly, and chemoepitaxy, which uses periodic chemical patterns to direct assembly. In both cases, vertical lamellae can be directed by tailoring the template dimensions as well as the interfacial interactions between the template and the polymer blocks. However, there are challenges associated with these techniques. For example, graphoepitaxy is sensitive to underfilling and overfilling of block polymer in the trenches and requires topographic structures that can interfere with subsequent processing. On the other hand, chemoepitaxy requires guiding stripes that are roughly as narrow as the lamellar half pitch, L0 over 2. This becomes a problem when trying to direct sub-10 nanometer features because the required sub-10 nanometer guiding stripes are very difficult to fabricate. Alternately, we've recently discovered a promising route to direct the assembly of block polymers that overcomes these roadblocks. In boundary-directed epitaxy, templates consisting only of relatively wide features with nearly zero topography are used to direct assembly, circumventing the need for topographic structures or ultra-narrow guiding stripes. The template consists of spatial boundaries that separate regions on a surface with different composition. The boundaries are formed at the edges of isolated stripes on a background substrate. Even though vertical lamellae assemble on the stripes, the stripe and the substrate are actually chemically preferential to different blocks of the block polymer. Accordingly, assembly on infinite surfaces of either the stripe material or the substrate material leads to the formation of horizontal lamellae everywhere where the red block directly contacts the infinite substrate surface and where the blue block directly contacts the infinite stripe surface. However, when the stripe and substrate materials are laterally adjacent, the resulting boundaries completely change this assembly behavior. The boundaries sharply modulate the lamellar orientation on the stripe from horizontal to vertical at the stripe edges, and then the vertical lamellae propagate into the center of the stripes. Consequently, vertical lamellae selectively form on the stripes, whereas horizontal lamellae form on the substrate. The vertical lamellae align parallel to the boundaries, and vertical lamellae of the same block always border both stripe edges. Importantly, several vertical lamellae can span the width of a single, relatively wide stripe, multiplying the density of block polymer features with respect to the stripe width. In order to achieve boundary-directed epitaxy, we exploit a new type of template consisting of isolated graphene stripes on a germanium surface. In order to fabricate the template, graphene stripes with tunable widths are synthesized directly on germanium or germanium on silicon wafers via chemical vapor deposition. This template is unique because the graphene stripes are exactly one atom thick and have nearly atomically smooth edges, resulting in minimal topography and abrupt transitions in surface composition at the stripe substrate boundaries. Here, we've used graphene stripes on germanium as a template because it takes advantage of our group's expertise in fabricating such systems. However, boundary-directed epitaxy should be generally applicable to a wide variety of template and stripe materials combinations. After the template is fabricated, a thin film of disordered block polymer is deposited onto the template via spin coating. Here, we use block polymers composed of polypropylene carbonate and polystyrene with lamellar pitch, or l naught between 12.8 and 16.8 nanometers. The samples are then annealed, for example at 160 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, to microphase separate the block of polymer chains and to direct their assembly. Boundary-directed epitaxy is achieved solely via thermal annealing without relatively complex solvent annealing or neutral top coats that are commonly used to direct assembly of high-resolution block of polymers. 
The number of vertical lamellae assembled on a single stripe can be tuned by varying the stripe width. An assembly is realized even when the stripe width is incommensurate with the block of polymer domain spacing. High density multiplication factors are achieved, enabling epitaxy of 6.4 nanometer block of polymer domains on templates that are much larger, around 100 nanometers in width. Complex patterns can also be produced, including features that are essential for fabricating integrated circuits. For example, superstructures of isolated line arrays, bends, T-junctions, jogs, and single lines can be directed to assemble by utilizing appropriate templates. Next, we elucidate the evolution of assembly as a function of stripe width by annealing the block of polymer films at 130 degrees Celsius for various times and characterizing the resulting morphology. Within one minute of annealing, vertical lamellae form on graphene along each stripe edge, regardless of the stripe width. These lamellae remain pinned at the stripe substrate boundaries throughout assembly. On stripes wider than 1.5 L0, vertical lamellae are not observed in the interior of the stripe. With increasing anneal time of 8 hours, 24 hours, and 84 hours, a third, fourth, and fifth vertical polystyrene lamella forms on stripes that are 2.5 L0, 3.5 L0, and 4.5 L0 in width, respectively. These new vertical lamellae align to the domains that are already pinned at the stripe edges. Therefore, alignment of vertical lamellae propagates from the stripe substrate boundaries to the center of the stripes. The assembly kinetics accelerate with increasing anneal temperature. For example, by increasing the temperature from 130 to 190 degrees Celsius, the time required to assemble seven vertical lamellae is reduced from 24 hours to just 30 seconds. In order to further understand the assembly mechanism, Monte Carlo simulations are conducted using a coarse-grained bead spring model. The template is initially coated with a generic, disordered ABA triblock copolymer film. Upon annealing, the film reorganizes so that the B block preferentially wets the stripes and the A block preferentially wets the substrate, forming horizontal lamellae that are out of phase with the boundaries. Next, the block copolymer begins to partially flow off the stripes and onto the substrate, so that the film thickness can eventually become commensurate with the lamellar spacing. In the sloped regions, the horizontal lamellae on the substrate curve upward and contact the free surface. These slanted lamellae act as a template to convert the lamellae on the stripes from horizontal to vertical. Eventually, the slanted lamellae reorganize to form L-junctions as the horizontal lamellae on the substrate approach thicknesses of 0.5 L0 in holes and 1.5 L0 in islands, matching the film morphology observed experimentally. In summary, boundary-directed epitaxy is a promising route for directing the assembly of vertical lamellae into technologically useful nanoscale patterns. Assembly is directed by using spatial boundaries that separate regions on a surface with different composition. Chemical contrast at the boundaries sharply modulates the lamellar orientation from horizontal to vertical. The templates are planar, and the stripes can be several times larger than the block of polymer domain spacing, circumventing the need for topographic structures or ultra-narrow guiding stripes. Boundary-directed epitaxy may ultimately provide a simple, scalable route for assembling, creating, and lithographically defining materials on sub-10 nanometer scales. We're currently focused on extending assembly to additional block of polymer systems and stripe-substrate materials combinations, as well as characterizing defects in the assembled films. This work started from a collaboration between Zhu Xuan Chang in Jack Ma's group at Wisconsin, Xi Shang Zhang in Paul Neely's group at the University of Chicago, and myself in Mike Arnold's group. The simulations were conducted by Vikram Thapar in Sumi Her's group at Chonam National University, and the block of polymers were synthesized by Guang Peng Wu and Paul Neely. I'd also like to thank Austin Wei, Vivek Saraswat, and Katherine Jenkins in the Arnold group for their contributions, and the DOE and NSF for their funding. Thank you.